What's up guys, it's your boy Metraptor, also known as Luxatus Patella, and welcome to the second part of my Disney's Tarzan action game walkthrough series, HD Revamp. Uh, last week I introduced you to the first part of this new series, well new, like I said before, I've done this five years ago, but we're just gonna continue on this HD Revamp series. So last time, we did the first level, I explained a bit about the game, now let's do the second one, here we go. So again, uh, similar to dinosaurs, um, I'm going to hold on the structure, I'm going to show you the level selection screen, uh, prove to you that I've done 100% on the first one, and we're going to do, try to do 100% on the second one. Let's go. Ah, so, this level, huh? This level isn't hard, but there are a shitload of coins, shitload of paths to take, and there was one section in which I kind of cocked up <laughs> uh, five years ago, so I didn't get a 100% score. <gasps> no? No, I didn't get a 100% score. I got a 97% score. 97. Uh, yeah. I, I kind of missed a couple of coins, and I know exactly why. But hopefully, I will try to do some 100%. So, right off the bat, we got ourselves the knife. Uh, we got our first letter, T, Tarzan. And I want to show you this. All our special fruit is gone. Apparently, I found out that um, you don't get to stack fruit uh, over the course of the game. You just, you know, you find some and you have to use them within the level or they are wasted. Um, so yeah, I didn't know that anymore. Well, I couldn't really remember. Really, special fruit, it's not my kind of expertise. I don't use it a lot. But um, yeah, apparently this is the case. Well, there's not much fruit in this level. Special fruit, that is. So yeah, it's pretty good. I don't it a lot so yeah. also ooh, I just kind of landed on that one but it's okay so yeah new enemies they're kind of tougher like they take four hits or so whatever also these birds you're gonna hate them you're really gonna hate them oh, they're like eagles or whatever but you're really gonna hate them oh, just, mm, you're gonna hate them so much so of course, Tarzan wouldn't be Tarzan if you couldn't jump on some vines to string around and go across, whatever. So this is, of course, a really nice feature that we have in here. And basically, you just hang on and stuff, and you can change your altitude, and then you can kind of, I don't know, make up speed. Even though you don't really have to make up speed, I think, because you kind of make speed already the first time you go to the right and to the left, so it doesn't really matter too much. But hey, anyways, great mechanic, I love it, it's, it's kind of good, it works well, unless other people... I've seen a review, some other guy really thought that this was complicated, really. Also, this is really interesting, oh, I kind of wanted to show you right now, well, I'll show you now that the enemy is gone, is that, you know, this is the this is the 3D aspect that they try to do, like, oh, you take this back, ooh, you go all around it, oh, awesome, oh, we've been here before, oh, now we can actually get to here, oh. Yeah, and normally, you know, if I would design it, I would have been like, if you jump up here, you could actually just go back to the original path. But no, uh, this this isn't the case here. I didn't really ha know how to explain it. Also, if you throw fruit, you throw it, you know, the way that the path goes. So you really throw it, you know, in this direction, like like a spinning ball with an effect or something, you know. So you really, so even if the enemy is like right around the corner, you throw directly right around the corner yeah i hope this makes sense <laughs> i don't know how this is called in level design or whatever or in game mechanics design but uh, i'm sure somebody will know a term for this this is where you use the ape shit button and i as a child did not know this really uh, let me do this don't really get to get to yeah this is this is the problem there's just a Little small safe space between the birds with the rocks and then the, the, the enemy who throws the other rocks at you. Gap. Nicely done. For some more fruit. Uh, let's see, that's 100. That's a mango. I was, oh, I was almost about to say pineapple again. And this is a pit. Bottomless pit, so jump for your life. And then we're coming up to one of the most annoying little sections of the game. Really, this part. I mean, holy shit. I, I hate these enemies, really, just, oh, that actually went relatively well, like five years ago, really, those frogs, man, damn it, 
I hate him. As you can see, they do only do like a tiny little bit of damage, but still, whatever. Uh, okay, let's see. Shitload of alternate paths to take here, so I'm just gonna go and think what path is best. So really, if you see a platform or like a space like this, I'm just gonna duck here. You can see there's there's a mango, I can see a coin or something, I can see some special fruit. I had no idea how to get access to this, really. It, uh, a fun little fact, I guess, is that um, I saw a friend of mine, well, it wasn't really a friend of mine, but he lived in the neighborhood. And the thing is, is that he played it. And I was like, yeah, 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 I know all that stuff. Yeah, 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 I, I, I know how, how you have to do this. Or yeah, yeah, I know all where all the items are, this and that. But I had no idea, absolutely no idea how to break open those things. So this is where, and I think this is appropriate uh, to the level title, Going Ape, he just used the Going Ape shit button. So yeah. Uh, but you can see, yeah, here we go, alternate paths everywhere. It's crazy. Even here, and like, oh, okay. So here you also go Ape shit, and then you get yourself the mango. And yes, I know, I don't really pay much attention to the birds. The birds are annoying, but really, usually I'm just fine. There we go. Smashed you in the face with some fruit. More special fruits. Uh, those are the special ones where... Uh, yeah, the blue ones, so that's like a, a nuke. <laughs> nuke fruit, you know, everything on the screen uh, dies. I don't know if it applies to birds too. I don't really kill birds that much. I wonder if you can actually kill birds with a knife. Oh my god, you don't know if you can kill birds with a knife? No, I don't, because normally I don't uh, pay attention to the birds, nor do I kill them. So, yeah. Uh, like so. First some fruit up your ass. <laughs> and yeah, you can see just already from the level design, there's there are so many alternate paths you can take. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So yeah. Uh, bananas, we don't need bananas. Uh, here we go. And this is also another bottomless pit, so really make your jumps count. And instead of going to the right, we're gonna go to the left, because secret. Alrighty. So, more coins, sketches. Three out of four sketches already. That's uh, pretty quick. Then again, make your jump count, because. <clears throat> really, at this stage, the, the jumps ain't hard, but I mean, at, at later points, <laughs> they will become hard. Uh, let's see, well, we have to make a bit of a... Thank you for stopping. Yeah, you really have to make yourself a bit of momentum. Really get the right position, go all the way at the bottom to make sure that you flick yourself the furthest or whatever. I don't know, it's something with physics and velocities and stuff. I don't really know much about that anymore, but I used to. Um... And here you go, yet again, okay, so this is an alternate path, and within the alternate path, there are two more paths, so it really is like, ugh, so many paths to take. Like, and as a little kid, you know, you might ask yourself, am I going the right way, am I getting lost, or whatever, you know, you could ask yourself this, like, I was always afraid, like this, like, again, the 3D element in here, here is this last sketch, I can see some, some coins floating around, how do I get there? And I was really like, oh boy. And then, you know, one time where I would complete the level and then I realized I've never been to the part with the floating coins and the sketch. Where is it? So all those alternate paths, it's really crazy. Okay. Let's do it like so. Okay, so now we've really covered everything in this uh, little area. So let's just go to this area. More fruit up your ass, okay. 200 coins already, like I said, there are a lot of coins. I don't know exactly the right amount of coins, but I think I've mentioned it before five years ago, so I'll probably mention it here too. Uh, again, where to go first? Well, I'm gonna go for here first. And here you go, here we get to the section with the tree, the coins, and hopefully the sketch. There we go. So now we've really covered everything. But for the same, you know, you could do it the other way around. You could go here first, and then you see up there at that branch, oh, hey, there, there are some more items in there. How do I get there? So those are always like little hints to show you, like, hey, you haven't completed everything yet, or oh, like you haven't explored everything yet. Um, and that always happened to me as a kid. I, there was always something that I missed. It really was frustrating, but, you know, now it's, it's pretty okay. Um, before you go and smash this one open, because as you can see, if you smash this one open, you're gonna fall through because there's no. The bottom is missing. It's just a gap. 
So, don't do this first. So, okay, you're in the dick position. Here you go. And again, don't fall off here. Now you have to go and, uh, and then smash this one open if you want to get that 100%. Really? Yeah, because then you can go in here, you can get yourself the fifth letter, which is all nice. But this is why we had to do it, because once you jump up here, you cannot go back. Nope. So yeah, those were the things that I learned uh, during when I was really trying to aim for 100% scores and everything. Uh, those were really the things that annoyed me, really. Like, once you fall up here, there's no point of return. You know, those kind of moments are pretty annoying once you want to do something like 100% rock free. There we go. Again, really, like I said before, when my friend did this, I was blown away because I really didn't understand how to get to these things. Really, I didn't. I was really blown away and I was like, yes! There we go. You don't need the bananas. Alrighty, and now we're coming up to the section which I kind of dread the most and it's always the last part, so... Uh, 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 let's see, there is an enemy up here, you little dick. Let's just throw fruit until it comes. Yeah, you can pretty much just throw fruit infinitely until they, they come back and then you, you're guaranteed to kill them. Now this point, this is, this is the point where five years ago I screwed up. Because this is a sliding section, like from the movie you slide from branch to branch, from tree to tree, whatever. Um, this is the exact same thing. Um, so I'm gonna explain it right now before I'm gonna go and jump in there because if I do I'll probably cock up even more. Now here's the thing, you can you can slide and there are like three different lanes. Uh, you have, well at least to my perspective, okay, so there are three different lanes. You have the left lane, the middle lane and the right lane. Um, there are coins, there are rows of coins scattered between those three lanes. So, to get to the left lane, you have to lean Tarzan's body to the left. This is the only way he can get coins from the left side, from the left lane. Similar goes when the coins are on the right side and you have to lean your body to the right. Now, during this whole leaning and switching lanes thing, you have to avoid enemies by switching lanes. You have to jump over obstacles. You have to duck under obstacles too. Now this one isn't particularly like too difficult. They get a bit more difficult, I think, later on. Um, but this one has, and this is purely for the coin freaks, purely for those who want to get 100%. Um, there are nine different uh, rows of coins. Yeah, I'm kind of moving here just to make sure that the game doesn't pause or anything. Um, and the pattern is, uh, I'm gonna give the pattern and Pretty much, I try to remember this pattern out of my head. It's not really a difficult pattern, it really isn't. But, you know, I have to make sure that during the actual uh, recording of this, I don't cock up. Really, if I do cock up, there's gonna be a next take, and hopefully you won't notice that. Okay, so there, this is really the moment of truth. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Middle, right, right, left, middle, right, left, middle, middle. Well, the last is not really to hurt, so middle, right. Whew. Middle, right, right. Jump. Okay, left, middle, right. Left, jump, duck, middle. And very soon after this jump, right. Then go to the left, and then two times middle. Duck. <sighs> and I've done it. <laughs> I kind of sound composed there, but really it was too difficult. Alrighty. Get the last remaining coins in here. 100%. Press tab. All sketches. All, all letters. Got everything we need. Let's go up and uh, finish the level. So as we can see, we've collected all stuff. All letters, all sketches. Seven lives right now, and uh, I'm gonna save, and then we're gonna see you at the bonus level. Stork flight. I think it's stork flight. It's about a stork, some sort of flight. Objective of this mini game is real simple. You got yourself purple mangoes. You got coins. You steer the stork 
going left to right, you can also make him or her jump, whatever. And it's kind of like the one with the lily pads. It's real simple. You just follow a path of coins. You get as many coins as you can and just try to rack up some lives. That's all there really is to it. So uh, here's an obstacle. Oh, I just hit a tree there. Well, it's all okay. Get some more coins. Hopefully I won't miss one. I think I'll miss one eventually. I always cock up at these ones, so yeah. Uh, I don't need some extra time because we're getting close to the end. Oh, I missed one and there we go. We got to the end. Eight lives right now. Excellent. Here we go. With this, we have completed level two, 100% score. I'm happy about that because uh, this is redemption for five years ago. And uh, of course we have unlocked the third level, but we're gonna do that next part. So uh, for now, I wanna thank you guys for watching, of course. Like and favorite if you like the content, subscribe to our channel, Rick, and free from upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time.